So I think we can start. What are the career prospects in aquaculture and fisheries? That's what I am I'm about to talk. So, as we all know, before entering into a stream, we need to know about what's the importance of that. Like, we all know that there are a lot of people who are dependent on the aquaculture and fisheries, and it's a global thing happening. That's a, that's a global fish production is now reached about nearly 180 million tons. So, which means that. Uh, Everyone in the world, the major proportion of the total population is depending on this fish resources. So that's what the importance of this uh, course is. That's uh, because wherever you go in this world, everyone will be having relationship with fish and fishery products. That's why this topic comes into matter. So if you are talking about this agriculture also, it's about 46 percentage of this total population production is from aquaculture. So. Uh, our, our own countries, which is having a good uh, what platform, like Indian fisheries and aquaculture, uh, is an important sector which uh, provides food production and it provides nutritional security. And about 40 million people is contributing to aquaculture agriculture exports. So. Here, what all, what all are the total fish production, or what all are the contributors that are produce that are contributing to this total fish production? First one is marine fisheries that all know. Then coastal aquaculture. Then inland fisheries are there. Then freshwater aquaculture and cold water fisheries. So these are the major players or contributors of our total fish production. And there are a lot of uh, different types of fish and shellfish products which have been exported to get foreign money and all. And it's been uh, nearly 45,000 crore worth have been we are exporting and the total commodity it is. So you can see in this, uh, this graph, uh, world capture fisheries and aquaculture production has been increased from 1950 to uh, 2018 to nearly 180 million tons. And this is what makes this uh, topic important regarding the academics and uh, the career, business, and uh, whatever. Because once if we are get getting into a course, we need to know how much the aspects or how much applicability this course will have. So now this fisheries and aquaculture is having a great impact over the entire globe. And this is what makes your course worthful. So first I'll talk something regarding the academics and uh, if I think a lot of students are there so I just uh, ask you to grab a pen and a paper because each slide will be having informations regarding a uh, lot of courses that you can attend because uh, we all know there are some confusions versus regarding this uh, uh, bachelor's course in fisheries and aquaculture so I'll be I'll be presenting a lot of uh, institutes and courses that you can follow in your for your post graduation so I uh, request you all to have a pen and a paper. OK, so actually more than a presentation, this is actually a database that I am presenting to the students because you'll be having a lot of confusions regarding the courses that you need to select that a uh, lot of students have been continuously asking whether we are having a good platform to get into good post graduation studies and uh, research and careers and everything. So I'll provide some of the best institutes and courses that you can follow or you can shift to carry out your career and academics. So basically, in this fishery science, uh, we are having four major degrees in bachelor courses. The first one is Bachelor of Science, and the second one is Bachelor of Fishery Science, then BTEC Bachelor of Technology and Vocational Education. Among these, students will be having confusion regarding this Bachelor of Science, because we, if we are considering the other ones, Bachelor of Fishery Science, they are having a specification towards fishery science. So then easily they can go for the uh, MFSC courses. And at the same time, BTEC uh, technology, they can follow this MTEC courses, etc. And for vocational studies also, it's the same. But for in the case of this Bachelor of Science, a lot of confusions are persisting among students. So I'll be providing some institutes and courses they are offering that you can grab in after your bachelor's course and continue with your academics and uh, again uh, research and uh, PhD, postdoctorate and whatever. So the first one that everyone will, will be aware of is Cochin University of Technology, Science and Technology, QSAT. 
so after your bachelor's degree they are providing two courses so one is school of industrial fisheries which you can get into and school of marine sciences and within this school of industrial fisheries you are having two courses the first one is uh, post graduation in industrial fisheries and the second one is uh, mfsc course in seafood safety and trade and uh, okay in marine sciences you are having a course that you can follow that is marine biology so if you want to get into this university they are contacting your common admission test that you will be aware of that is called cat but now i think because of this corona effect they have just cancelled the cat but still i think you just be aware with the with the newsletters and all so that you can uh, get into any of these courses now the second university that i'm preferring is uh, kufos that is kela university of fisheries and ocean studies and uh, you can see that there are a lot of courses they are offering after your bachelor's degree apart from uh, fishery science like MSc marine biology then disaster management and MSc biotechnology then marine microbiology and environmental sciences these are some of the masters program they are offering after your bachelor's course i think uh, no one knows which much this much of course they can afford after their bachelor's degree in fishery science then apart from this they are also uh, their mode of selection is through as i said earlier it's through an entrance examination and apart from this if you are having a bachelor's degree in your uh, in fisheries you can also go for some pg diploma courses in aquarium science and technology and industrial aquaculture and they are also providing uh, uh, specialized mba courses for fisheries graduates but for that you need to go for some more steps like uh, apart from their entrance you need to go for this uh, kmat i think Uh, a lot of people will be knowing this but still i am just uh, exposing these things like k math cat and c math i'll just show open that link this is a site that students will follow if you want to get into an mba course after your uh, fisheries graduation so you can go through this website and just uh, have a look at what all things you need to do to do to get into an mba course another side that i'll introduce is cat that is this is a site for indian institute of management so this you can also follow for your further studies in uh, business administration again one more thing is the cmat this is a common management admission test so once again i'll repeat if you want to pursue an mba after your fisheries degree and to get into a good uh, university you need to follow at least one of these the first one is uh, entrance regarding this indian institutes of management and the second one is a common management admission test and one more thing is there which is uh, application uh, this uh, entrance that has been pursued uh, carried out by kerala kerala government so these are some of the options you can follow after your fisheries science bachelor's degree and if you are going for this c math you need to be uh, after the sentence you need to attend a group discussion and an interview so if you want to ha uh, have more knowledge regarding what all things you need to follow after for getting into the school force it's better you just follow their prospectus i'll just introduce the prospectus for you so this is a prospect of the post graduate phd program and as you can see Once, if I'll just uh, show you some of these courses. These are some of the courses that they are offering after your bachelor's degree. So the first one is uh, in Master of Fishery Science uh, that, that I'll tell later. For for math, Master in Science, you can have this much of courses. And if, from these courses, I have shortlisted those courses who fisheries graduates can follow like that. so if you want to have a look at this uh, you just scroll down and you will get uh, options regarding what all are the eligibilities for getting into this course like if you see this this is an example if you want to get into msc in marine biology these are the details that they have clearly mentioned that uh, if you want uh, this this is a area where you can see 
you have a, if you have a bsc in aquaculture and bsc in industrial fisheries you can easily attend the entrance and get into this course this is that course this is msc in marine biology i like that they are having other courses this you can't attend because it's uh, purely based on physics again i'll show one more thing that is uh, disaster management that i have already short listed now you can see here the, this is the minimum qualification that you needed for getting into this course or attending their entrance like that they are having a lot of courses like biotechnology everything again these are the courses you can see here if you have this aquaculture industry fisheries bachelor's degree with you you can easily go for the biotechnology course so i think uh, this one is clear for you then i am going back to the presentation so this one i have already mentioned uh, now another courses in kerala university trivandrum that is msc in aquatic biology and fisheries they are also having a prospectus i'll just show that this is the details that msc courses in aquatic biology and here also they have told that this eligibility they are having this fishery science and aquaculture as one of the major course so now you can go for that if you want to get into a post graduation i think uh, students attending this webinar are following like uh, qsat kufos and uh, kela university uh, then now this is a center for professional and advanced studies which was established by government of kerala and its short form is uh, cpas and they are also having one course regarding this fisheries and aquaculture and as, as you can see here if you want to get into this msc program in fishery biology and aquaculture you just need a course or a bachelor's degree in bsc aquaculture or any other equivalent degrees apart from that they have like zoology botany chemistry and all but still if you are having a fishery science with you you can easily at get into this course this post graduation course again i am going back to the presentation so now uh, everybody is knowing about alberts college because it is one of the oldest and uh, famous college in kochi so they are also offering uh, one post graduation course that is msc in applied fisheries and aquaculture i'll show their prospectus also this is their prospectus and they are having this course as msc in applied fisheries and aquaculture apart from these courses they are offering some more courses like uh, bwoc they are having some more courses as you can see this one i think they are having nearly 50 seats here so this thing is a the importance of this course that i will tell after some time so this is a vocational course a bachelor degree in vocational course so regarding st alberts they are also providing two courses one is uh, msc in applied fisheries and aquaculture and the other one is in bwoc in then the another college in kochi is uh, sacred heart college they are also having one course that's post graduation in aquaculture and fish processing technology so they are having also prospectors i am not repeating all these prospectors because i think now you know how to search for a course so i think the students will be having an aware of uh, what all institutes that i have uh, just mentioned regarding their masters program so i'll go to the next one this one is also a familiar one that is mes ponani college which is affiliated to calicut university so they are also offering two courses uh, that is uh, one post graduation aquaculture and fishery microbiology and the other one in fish processing technology and they are also having campus in uh, lakshadweep i think because they are having one or two campuses uh, so if you want to get into any of these courses you can uh, have a look at their website again i'll shift to another university so now we are going to our neighbor state that is uh, tamil nadu veterinary and animal science university 
in this university apart from fishery science you can just get into a post graduation course in biotechnology and uh, this picture shows how the website seems to be like if you are searching that's why the the link of the website is here so if someone wants to write down this uh, university name so you can just write down it's better you just list out all the say, names of these colleges and universities and just spend some time to search for what all details they are providing regarding this so regarding the syllabi i'll just uh, this is the syllabus and uh, i'll just show the course now you can see here this is a post graduation in uh, biotechnology and here also what they are offering uh, this post graduation for all those graduates in uh, multiple disciplines including this fishery science and other ones so the mode of selection is uh, through an entrance which they will be considering 75 percentage and uh, the qualifying degree marks also they will be considering so if you want to shift your field from fishery science to biotechnology you can opt this university that's the tamil nadu veterinary and animal science university so i'll shift to the next one this is annamalai university in tamil nadu and they are offering a bunch of courses for all this fishery graduates like MSc Coastal Aquaculture, then Marine Microbiology, then Marine Biology and Oceanography, uh, then Marine Food Technology and Marine Biotechnology. So if you want to shift your course, your post-graduation to any other courses that you are interested in, like Biotechnology, you know, it's a recent uh, technological course that have been introduced. So you can go for any of the, these things. And they're also having a prospectors i'm not showing that I, because i think now you know how to search for the additional post graduation courses so i'll just shift my slide now i think these colleges and these uh, institutes uh, it's little hard to recognize because it's towards uh, the northern side or it's uh, not that much familiar to our students so i'll just introduce these institutes the first one is uh, Devi Ahilya Vishwavidyalaya Indo. It was formerly known as University of Indo and I have given the link and this is the website, the picture of the website when you search. And they're also offering a lot of courses like MSc in Biotechnology, Genetic Engineering, uh, Industrial Microbiology, Life Sciences. And these are all four courses they are offering. So again, you just go to the uh prospectors you'll get like now you can search for the prospectors for example i'll just show this this is how they had just put the uh admission criteria for getting into masters of science in biotechnology and regarding the uh, eligibility criteria it's uh it's so a bachelor's degree with 10 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 means a uh, three year course, degree course. And again, they have mentioned this fishery sciences. You can see here this fishery sciences for getting into this. So after that, this admission process, they will be providing the uh, platform for writing an entrance examination that you can see here. The admissions will be done as per merit in the entrance test conducted by this university. So again, uh, just list down this uh, uh, institute that is Devi Ahalya Vishwavidyalaya Indo, or formerly University of Indo. So again, this uh, university, it's called Utka University. They are also providing some courses for the fisheries graduates. The first one is master's degree in applied microbiology. Then the second one is environmental science then master of journalism and mass communication and again as apart from this master's program they are having a pg diploma course in remote sensing and geographic information system so here also the mode of selection is career plus entrance as i mentioned earlier in the university and they're also having an mba program in agribusiness and again, you need to go through the same websites. That means the common uh, that uh, uh, common management test entrance examinations you need to attend.
to get into an MBA courses. So I'm shifting to the next slide. This is what I think a lot of people knows that Algebra University, they are having two courses there. There is MSc in Fisheries Science and MSc in Industrial Fisheries. These are the post-graduation platforms uh, Ansara University uh, is providing. So again, this uh, Govind Balab Pant University of Agriculture and Technology, I think uh, this uh, you will be hearing for the first time. And sometimes you may have heard. So what all are the master courses they are offering? They're also offering a lot of courses like Agricultural Economics, then Agricultural Extension and Communication, and Aquaculture, then Aquatic Environment Management, then Fisheries Resource Management, Fish Processing Technology, and Biochemistry, Environmental Science. So as you can see here, after your bachelor's program in fishery science, you can shift easily shift your post graduation platform like agriculture economics, biotechnology, agriculture extension, aquaculture, and biochemistry, environmental science. Like that, you can easily shift your post graduation according to your course of interest. That what what thing you need to do for your masters, and this decides most most of your career in your future research. So I think uh, students are copying all these things. Then I'll shift uh, to the other slide. This one is again for MSc programs, but I haven't uh, put the details because they haven't provided the details of uh, their master's program. That's why I've been kept this. You just do one thing. You just list out these institutes also. That's the uh, first one is Acharya Nagarjuna University and Adhikavi Nanai University. These are two universities in Andhra Pradesh and they are providing post-graduation programs in aquaculture. So just list down these, uh, uh, course, uh, these courses and universities and uh, I think you spend some time to search for what course they are offering and what all are the criteria that they need to get, uh, you need to get into that uh, master's program like that. Now, this much, uh, these are some of the institutes which are providing Masters of Science programs. Again, I'll uh, just remind the first one, just Acharya Nagarjuna University. Again, Govind Ballapan University. Then Andhra University, Utkal University, Devi Ahilya Vishwidyalaya. Okay. Annamale University and Tamil Nadu Veterinary and Animal Science University. So these are the universities uh, who all are providing good master's program in different disciplines for fisheries graduates. So I think uh, uh, you should have listed all these uh, universities and institutes. So uh, should I continue with the other ones? So yes, yes. Now yeah, I'll... Yeah. So it's fine. So yeah. Should I continue? Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Okay, fine. So now I have completed the courses regarding Master of Science. And now I'll be listing some institutes uh, providing uh, this Master of Fisheries Science post-graduation courses. But I think it's a little bit easier for this M BFSC students to grab their courses because, as we all know, because you guys are having a specialized degree in fisheries science, so you easily you can search for master pro master's program in fisheries science. So as you all know, Central Institute of Fisheries Education they are providing a uh, good MFSC courses. I'll just uh, show you the list of all these MFSC courses they are providing. This is the website. You just have a look at this website and I'll just uh, drag down. You can see in your left corner the courses offered and syllabus. So the first one is aquaculture division and you can easily download the 
uh, syllabus for MFSC in aquaculture. Again, they are having MFSC courses in fishery resources, harvest and post-harvest division. Again, if you go like that, you will get a handful, a bunch of MFSC courses that you can easily get into. So like masters in science uh, in fisheries, you are having a lot of options for masters in fishery science. So just go through this website and just have a look at these courses and grab the course of your interest. So I'm just uh, shifting back to the slide. Again, you are, you are having Junagat Agriculture University, which is another university which are provide, who, who, all are, who are providing good uh, master's program for MFSC students. I think uh, I'm not repeating the same syllabus work because I think now you know how to go through this uh, website. So I'll just introduce this website. So you just uh, list it down. Though for for the third one is Dr. Bala Sahib Saban Konkan Krishi Vidya Peed, which is in Ratnagiri. And again, the fourth one is KUFOS, Kerala University of Fisheries and Ocean Studies, that I have al already mentioned during my first slides. So here I've introduced four institutes uh, which are providing uh, MFSC courses, that is uh, CIFE, Junagat Agriculture University, then Bala Sahib Saban Krishi Vidya Peed, and uh, KUFOS. So I think you have written all this uh, for institutes. I'll shift to the next slide. Again, you're having two more institutes and you, or universities who are providing Master of Fisheries Science courses. The first one is Shari Kashmir University of Agricul Agriculture Sciences and Technology of Kashmir. It's in Srinagar. Then again, Central Agriculture University. It's in Imphal. So I think uh, you can write it down. That is first one is Shari Kashmir University of Agriculture Sciences and Technology of Kashmir. Now Central Agriculture University in So uh, anyway, uh, if someone has missed some of these institutes, don't worry because we'll have a interaction session after this talk. So if someone wants to get names of any of these institutes that you have missed, we will just get back to that. So don't worry, I'll just uh, follow the slides. So I'll shift my slide. Again, I'll introduce three institutes or three universities uh, providing master's degree in fishery science, that is MFSC programs, and they are also having some BFSC. Uh, so you should have a thorough look at these uh, websites. The first one is, Acharya Narendra Dev University and repeat Acharya Narendra Dev University. Then the second one is uh, Guru Ankad Dev Veterinary and Animal Science University. Guru Ankad Dev Veterinary and Animal Sciences University. And the third one is uh, Maharana Pratap University. So in this slide, we are having three universities. Uh, the first one, Acharya Narendra Dev University, then Guru Ankad Dev Veterinary and Animal Science University, and again, Maharana Pratap University. So these uh, universities are also providing uh, masters in fisheries pro uh, sciences. And if someone wants to uh, look into the prospectors, I, uh, I am having some of these prospectors that you just ask in this uh, webinar, uh, this question session, so I can introduce those prospectors for you. And I think one or two, or, uh, some of them are not having the same. So in that case, you need to search for that. So I'll shift to the next slide. We're having two options here. The first one is Tamil Nadu Dr. J. Jayalalitha Fisheries University, Nagapatinam. Tamil Nadu Dr. J. Jayalalitha Fisheries University, Nagapatinam. Again, one more is there. It's Assam Agriculture University, Jorat. Assam Agriculture University, Jorat. So I think uh, those who want to pursue MFSC will have a look at these uh, websites. So I'll shift to the next slide. 
This one is another word that is Karnataka Veterinary Animal and Fisheries Sciences University. Karnataka Veterinary Animal and Fisheries Science University. Sometimes uh, they'll be having some courses other than this uh, BFSC Fisheries. So again, they will be providing some uh, master's program for these fisheries graduates. So just have a thorough look for over all these websites. Just grab the prospectus and have a thorough read. You just uh, spend some time towards uh, that prospectus for each and every universities and have a good look at what all academic programs they are having. And after that, only you just go for a course selection. So I'll shift to the next slide. That is overseas opportunities. I think this one will be one of the most interesting things that uh, students will be looking because they need to explore the beauty and academics of abroad universities. So I have put some overseas opportunities regarding the master's program. If they are having a bachelor's degree in uh, fishery science. So I'll shift to the overseas opportunities in master's program where I'll be introducing some of the institutes who are providing master's as well as bachelor's and doctoral. Anyway, I prefer you just have your bachelor's degree from here and just go to abroad universities for grabbing your master's program. So I'll introduce that. So just have a look at all these websites. So the first one is Hull International Fishery University or University of Hull, UK, where I here I'll just introduce the particular master's courses also. I'll have a click at the website. This is uh, under the Faculty of Science and Engineering, that is Biological and Environmental Sciences Research Degrees. It's a postgraduate research degree. You can see on your left side and about the program, they are having a course. And here you can see what all are they offering. So they are offering MSc Biological Sciences, it's a research oriented sciences. And the second one is MSc in Fisheries. It's also a research oriented thing. Apart from that, they're having one more course in uh, MSc course that is uh, molecular biology and uh, they're having doctoral programs in biological sciences, again in fisheries and uh, molecular biology. So you just have a look at this university. I'll go back to the slide. This is Hull International Fishery Institute, University of Hull, UK. Now the second one is Nelson Marlboro Institute of Technology. Nelson Marlboro Institute of Technology. Now they are having a postgraduate diploma in sustainable aquaculture. I'll just show that prospectus. This is their program that is postgraduate diploma in sustainable aquaculture. So if you you read it down, you will uh, you'll have the information regarding the length that is it's a one year full time or two to three years part time course. Uh, you have options to carry out it as full time or part time. Again, I'll just scroll down and you can see if you have a science degree. Hello. Am I audible? Hello. Yeah, you're quite audible. You're audible. So if you have a science degree and want to work in the field of marine biology, you can opt this course. That is a postgraduate diploma in sustainable aquaculture. And regarding the requirements, entry requirements, they have mentioned that it's a graduated with a degree from an overseas tertiary institution deemed by academic committee to be a of equivalent standing. That means a course that you have been completed for your graduation of a same platform. Again, they need some language 
testing overall scores like ILTS. So if you want to grab a po foreign university, postgraduate university, you need to fulfill this thing. And these are the requirements that you need to follow if you want to get into this course that is postgraduate diploma in sustainable aquaculture. And I'm going back to our slide. So I think you got two institutes from here. The first one is Har International Fisheries Institute and the second one is Nelson Marlboro Institute of Technology. Now I will shift to the next slide. Uh, this is called University of Stirling. It's in the UK and they are having a bunch of master's program by aquatic pathobiology, environmental management, aquatic veterinary studies and MSc in sustainable aquaculture. Again, University of Stirling in UK is providing four courses in master's program that is aquatic pathobiology, environmental management, aquatic veterinary studies and sustainable aquaculture. Now we'll just get into one of its prospectors. Uh, for example, I'll just have a look into this MSc in sustainable aquaculture. The fourth one, I'll just have a look at its prospectus. Yeah. This is the page which describes a post-graduation program in sustainable aquaculture. And if you want to get into this course, you need to inquire about what all things you need to follow for getting into this course. So just uh, visit this site, just uh, push this inquire button or uh, have a, an inquiry of what all things they are offering and apply at the earliest if you want to get into this university. So like that, they are having additional courses. I'm shifting back to my slides. Uh, Again, they're having uh, aquatic veterinary studies and environmental management and aquatic pathobiology. So just write this down, University of Stirling and these courses and visit the website and have a thorough look of all the details that you need and uh, just go and apply. So I'm shifting my slide again. Here I've, I've mentioned two universities. The first one is University of Arizona and the second one is University of Plymouth. So if the first one, they're offering an MS program in natural resources, that is fisheries, conservation and management. And the second university, that is University of Plymouth in UK, they are providing a master's program in sustainable aquaculture. The University of Arizona is in US and this Plymouth is in UK. So you can have this uh, courses from there. And I'll just have a look at uh, one of this uh, courses like MSc in Sustainable Aquaculture, just have a look. This is the site for of University of Plymouth and uh, as you can see, they have opened the registration. Its duration is one year and its course type is part time and full time and you can ha apply this, uh, this course. And key fe they are having some more features like key features, course details, entry requirement and I'm pressing this entry requirement and you can see here for entry to this postgraduate level, you should possess a good degree in a relevant subject. That means if you want to get into this course, you need to have a bachelor's degree in related field that is uh, fishery science. So again, I'm going back to this uh, requirements. So you again, they are also asking for the in this second program. That is, uh, they are asking for ILTS. Okay, so I'm shifting back to my slides and I'm, uh, I think I'm taking a lot of time. So I'll just uh, increase a little momentum. Anyway, you just have a look at these university just listed down. The first one is University of Arizona and University of Plymouth. So I'll shift to the next slide. Two universities are there. The first one is James Cook University in Australia and Michigan State University in US. Again, I'll repeat James Cook University in Australia and Michigan State University in US. So in James Cook University, they're offering a postgraduate program in fishery science and management. And in the Michigan State University, they have an MSc course in fisheries and wildlife. So just write down these uh, 
details and have a look at these universities. So I think uh, I'll shift. And again, I'm repeating, no need to worry about uh, some of the universities. You have skipped that slide because anyway, I'll be repeating the same. During the question answer session, we'll have again, uh, we have a look at all these slides. So if you want to get some information, again, I'll repeat. So just be comfortable and write or list, list out what all things that you are getting through these slides. Now another university is Texas A&M University. And Queen Mary University of London. The first one is in US and the second second one is in London. So uh, first one, they're offering an MS program in fisheries and mariculture. And uh, in Queen Mary University, they are having a master's program in aqua aquatic ecology by research. So again, two universities, Texas and m, &M University and Queen Mary University of London. So I think uh, about nine universities that I have mentioned. And it doesn't seem like this is not the final word because if you are searching for more universities, you will get good options. For time constraints, I have concluded my presentations to some of the core universities who are all are providing all this master's program for fisheries graduates. So after listing all these courses, you just have a good search in your website, in your internet and just try to get some more courses. Uh, for your master's program. So now I'll shift my slide to the next part. That is doctor, doctorate in philosophy, or doctor of philosophy, that means PhD. So after your master's program, there's also an intermediate program like master, MPhil, but I don't prefer that you want to get into that because I think in the present scenario, the demand for this MPhil is getting decreased. So it's better you just grab your master's program and get into some doctoral program at the earliest so that you, you won't uh, miss time in between. So I'll, I just mentioned a lot of uh, universities, uh, those who all provided uh, this uh, master's program so they will be having uh, this doctoral program also and apart from them i'll be introducing a lot of uh, central government institutes where this research are being carried out so basically after your master's program you can enter to this universities or uh, phd programs through the ones uh, because uh, uh, through the department tests and again, UGC, CSIR net programs, then uh, UJ, uh, this uh, UGC net, and uh, this net conducted by Agriculture Scientists Board. So these are the options, uh, primary options for getting into a PhD program in our country. So again, there are a lot of fellowships, like uh, if you are having a UGC CSIR, you will be getting an individual fellowship. And apart from that, all these institutes will be having like a uh, for example, if we are taking Cochin University or Kufos, they'll be providing uh, this uh, university funds for these PhD students. And apart from that, you can just directly apply to these funding agencies uh, for your proposals for, of your own research and work and apply. Again, there are a lot of fellowships sponsored like uh, using, if you are getting into some central government research programs, you can get fellowships from the projects funds. So these are the major platforms through which you can enter into uh, PhD programs. And uh, regarding this uh, abroad options, uh, your MSc project is a little important because if you're carrying a good work for your post-graduation program, uh, you can continue the similar work by searching in websites because some of the universities and institutes abroad will be following similar type of works. And if you are having a paper, a publication, you can uh, directly apply to those institutes. So try to find out labs of related works and apply directly. Again, these are some of the international programs which will be called for in between. One is DAN, which is a German academic exchange service. So this is the website link that I have given. So if you want to get into this DAD program, you can easily uh, do it through this website. 
but be aware there are some spurious agencies who have been mocking this website so in that cases it's better you just go through the genuine website then fulbright you have heard about fulbright this is another course it's a actually fulbright is offered a masters program also uh, so you can have a look into this website and can go on with uh, this fulbright scholarships again this embl phd program is there embl means european molecular biology laboratory so they'll have an international phd program for which you can enter and uh, proceed for your phd program again for postdoctoral studies when considering about this indian fellowships we are having most uh, prestigious uh, individual fellowships like uh, department of biotechnology welcome trust fellowships the inspire faculty that uh, this inspire is also given for this uh, phd programs so sometimes if you are a rank holder you can directly apply for this inspire faculty inspire program for your phd studies then regarding this postdoc this national postdocs and dbt research associateships again some of the universities and institutes will be providing their own postdoc facilities so these are some of the projects individual proposals you can carry out to uh, you can provide uh, to carry out your postdoctoral studies and there will be some postdoctoral positions under your specific projects in central institutes and uh, universities like research scientists research associates like that so you can just go on with that so these are some of the academic things uh, now about career i think uh, i'm taking a lot of time so i'll just speed up regarding the career you just uh, mind these uh, you just make these uh, institutes uh, in your mind because you can enlist this uh, institutes uh, and can uh, search in between for different positions so it's better you just uh, write down the abbreviations that are given in the bracket like the first one is cmfri that is central marine fisheries research institute you just write it down cmfri just write cmfri and just search in internet for different courses different uh, positions project positions again we are having central institute of fisheries technology or sift in kochi so just write sift c i f t again we are having a central institute of fisheries education in mumbai sifi these are our indian uh, icr institutes that means indian council for agriculture research supported institutes again we are having a national bureau of fish genetic resources nbsgr so now we are having uh, we are just discussed four Uh, central institutes the first one is cmfri then cift then cife then nbfgr again uh, we are having ciba that is central institute of brackish water aquaculture ciba now the second one is directorate of cold water fisheries research that is dcfr so just write down ciba and dcfr so i'm shifting to my next slide which contains two institutes that is cifri that is central inland fisheries research institute and central institute of fresh water aquaculture so cifri and cifa are two institutes that you can follow for your career now three more institutes the first one is coastal aquaculture authority in chennai that is caa and sifnet in kochi that is central institute of fisheries and nautical and engineering training sifnet and again marine products export development authority that is mpeda so three institutes just last uh, write it down the abbreviations that is caa sifnet and mpeda again we are having a fishery survey of india that's abbreviated as fsi and a central institute of coastal engineering for fishery it's in bangalore cicef and nifad that is uh, national institute of fisheries post harvest technology and training it's in kochi so just listed down as fsi cicef and nifad again i'm just uh, shifting to my next slide so we having a national federation of fisheries cooperatives limited 
National Fisheries Development Board, it's a Department of Fisheries, coming under the Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairy. That is called NFDB and Department of Fisheries. So just list these sites also because uh, there will be a lot of job opportunities coming in this uh, institutes and societies. So National Federation of Fisher Fisheries Cooperatives, National Fisheries Development Board and Department of Fisheries. Again, uh, there is a Rajiv Gandhi Center for Aquaculture. And it comes under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry and it's a society and the MPEDA, that is Marine Products Export Development Authority. So again, we are having one CSIR Institute that I am bindered with, that is National Institute of Oceanography. Then we are having a National Center for Polar and Ocean Research. Again, one more is there, Center for Marine Living Resources and Ecology, CMLRE. So there are four institutes listed on this slide, that is RGCA, that is Rajiv Gandhi Center for Aquaculture, then CSIR National Institute of Oceanography, and the National Center for Polar and Ocean Research, then Center for Marine Living Resources and Ecology. So these are the institutes that you need to consider. Then what all are the uh, job opportunities that we'll be covering or be uh, pursuing through this uh, institute that is uh, in this government sector mainly in Kerala PSC Public Service Commission so they're having posts like assistant directors assistant professors in colleges and state universities aquaculture expert fisheries extension officer then other research assistants in fisheries block technology officer vocational instructor and sub inspector of fisheries. These are some of the uh, courses of the job opportunities that will be coming under this Kerala State PSC. Then in central governments, uh, you can go for scientists, uh, like there are two types of recruitments. One is through agricultural research, uh, ARS uh, entrance examinations and direct recruitments, then assistant professors, assistant directors, then subject matter specialist in Krishi Vigyan Kentra of fisheries, then executive and director, then executive position in technical, senior instructor, marketing assistant, technical assistant, which technical assistants will be either permanent or temporary. If you have a bachelor's degree, you can apply for a common test uh, regarding this technical assistance in a lot of uh, central and state centers. And then technical officer in FSSAI, then there are a lot of temporary positions like SRF, senior research fellow, junior research fellow, project assistants, project officers, young professionals, then senior and junior fisheries consultants, aquarium assistants, technical trainees, fisheries promoters, enumerators, etc. Now in private sectors, you can go for QC, this quality controller post, microbiologists, managers, seafood processing and export co exporting companies, then hatchery manager, farm managers, technicians, fish farms, technicians in fish, fish farms like that in private sectors you can enter after, after your bachelor's. So these are a lot of uh, job opportunities that you can grab after your master's, uh, bachelor's, master's and PhD programs. Now I'm talking a little bit regarding uh, the business entrepreneurship startup what all are the opportunities that we will get uh, for carrying out a business or an entrepreneurship or startups? This is a single site you can go for. That is uh, start www.startupindia.gov.in, where Indian government is supporting nearly 125 schemes representing different disciplines. And I'll show some of them. Like uh, this one is Pratan Mantri Mudra Yojana. This is one of the famous uh, program for startups and business. So you just have a, you just write it down and just look to those websites. Among uh, this 125 programs, I have selected just five or six to show you within this short time span. So this is the site, Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yoja, where you can see uh, the details regarding what all things you need to do to get a funding assistance. So here, 
eligibility criteria for availing mudra refinance loan and have a look at this you just download it read it well and uh, go for the same again we are having a uh, promoting innovations in individual startups and micro small and medium enterprises prism this is again another program promoting innovations in individuals startups and uh, medium uh, medium small and micro entrepreneurs so here also you can see that a lot of uh, you can see the contact details and what all things who can apply what are the thrust areas all these things are there and just check your uh, your criteria your programs and eligibility what all things are there as is, as they are saying that any indian citizen including student innovator can avail support to develop their novel idea into demonstrable models this is what they are telling any indian citizen including student innovator can avail support to develop their novel idea into demonstrable models and prototypes so this is another good uh, uh, what uh, program for getting funding assistance again going back to my uh, slides this is three more slides that is venture capital scheme self employment and talent utilization then self employment lending schemes and many more